keep it going for your host, guys. Heather Pasternak, everybody. Isn't she lovely? Keep it going for yourselves. Thank you for all for coming here. God, hi. I'm Stephen Shaw. I'm Korean, if you couldn't tell by my piercing blue eyes. Been Korean for the last 27 of 29 years. Took two years off when I joined a frat, went by Chol! <laughs> my, my parents, they immigrated here from Korea because they're traitors. No, they're good, hardworking people, but they, they struggle financially, so when I started working, all I cared about was making money. But money only solves so much, right? Like, my dad drives a Camry and I drive a Tesla, but we're both fucking miserable. <laughs> Nothing like full self to hate while full self driving. <laughs> you know, in Korean culture, sons need to be strong. So, my dad was all about tough love and discipline, which is a nice way to say he's got a mean uppercut. <laughs> Multiple beatings, but at least my dad was touching me. <laughs> Not to worry all above the belt. <laughs> Haven't fucked my dad in years. All right, we got a fun crowd. <laughs> Couple dad fuckers in the house. <laughs> you know, when I was born, I was diagnosed with a Korean mother. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's terminal. <laughs> She suffers from anxiety, apathy, Christianity. No, she's a very sweet woman, but it's always the people who love you the most that can get under your skin, right? And I would never hurt my mother. But I have thought about it. Like when she tells me the same story for the 12th time, in my mind, I've Pushed her down the stairs. <laughs> now, that didn't land very well with her. Immediate tears. I felt terrible about her feelings. Not the joke, it was great. <laughs> so I go console her, and she asks me, do you think it's okay to have such crazy thoughts? And I know what you're all thinking, which is, that's not a Korean accent. <laughs> and you're right. It's because she grew up in Argentina for 20 years. Not my fault she's appropriating their culture. <laughs> so my Latina mother asked me, do you think it's okay to have such crazy thoughts? To which I say, do you think it's okay to stand so close to the stairs, mamacita? <laughs> and then she pushed me down the stairs. <laughs> I just turned 29. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And I will be staying 29 for the next five years. Or until I walk into traffic, whichever happens first. Yeah, buckle up, guys. This is the happy material. Um, you know, by 29, you don't know if you're depressed or just tired. Right? Like, do I need 14 hours of sleep or do I not want to be conscious for more than 10? Especially when in your late 20s, your Instagram feed just becomes wedding propaganda. Like, by all means, celebrate your special day. But you can pace yourself. You're gonna celebrate every year to come. Hopefully, at least half of you. And all the baby content that comes after. So misleading, right? Like, I wanna see the highs and the lows. In the trenches. Post a story when you've only slept three hours. Baby just projectile shat on the wall. And you're this close from grabbing that soft ankle and just...
I can't wait to be a dad. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Speaking of baby killers, I just moved in with my girlfriend. Thank you, thank you. She's cool with the name, she's the one doing it. Pro-choice, right? Yeah, felt like the right time moving together because we both wanted to. That's the story we've agreed on. And we've been fighting a little bit more, but I know we'll figure it out because it's a two year lease. You know, living together, it becomes clear this division of labor, right? Like it's understood that I take out trash, build furniture, shut my fucking mouth if I know what's good for me. You know, and everybody thinks it's major fuck-ups like cheating that are the biggest threat to relationships. When really it's the simple daily interactions. What do you want to eat is ripping us apart. <laughs> if I hear, I'm not hungry, you choose one more time, just go fuck one of my friends already. It'd be less painful. She just started law school. Yeah, any UCLA people in the house? There they are. <laughs> you know, law school is stressful for her, and I've come to learn that we have a very similar response to stress, right? She isolates and focuses on the hardest thing at hand. I isolate and focus on the hardest thing at hand. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know why. You just happen to be in the line of fire, okay? Ooh, okay, that's enough. That's not what I sound like, by the way. I, I don't know why I did that. I used to have a drinking problem. Segways, right? <laughs> and... Now I have a drinking hobby. <laughs> and growing up, I was one of the only Korean kids in school. So often I felt like I was living in two different worlds, right? I was Korean with my friend. Fuck that one up. <laughs> two different worlds. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, often, I felt like I was Korean with my family. <laughs> American with my friends. Did it, Stephen? Great. And... <laughs> but sometimes, after a few drinks, the lines would get blurred, right? Like, my mom would ask me, Stephen, you need to clean your room. Well, you need to go back to your country. <laughs> I'm calling your father. Well, I'm calling immigration. Thank you so much, guys. You have been amazing. I'm Stephen Chuck. Keep it going for your home.